First quick comment, and the topic is response time. The president is elected. He is at the helm of a 20-vote margin in the Senate and a 77-vote margin in the House. His campaign is predicated on change, reform. At the time of his inauguration, polling shows the public places health care reform third in its priorities, behind only the economy and counterterrorism. But that polling also warns the new president he only has a narrow window in which to act before the public gets scared by the details. He promptly delegates it to Congress. Congress loses message control on it to a bunch of white guys in 18th century hats who are pretending they are neither racist nor corporate funded, and another bunch of white guys screaming at town halls. The president then loses the meat of the bill to influence peddlers paid nine figures by big business. Then he loses the members in his own party who are owned by those big businesses. Then he loses his own voters in a special election in a liberal, liberal state because, as polling there shows, they are upset that health care reform did not go far enough. 371 days after the inauguration, there is no health care reform and there may not be. Meanwhile, a Republican senator is elected. One, not 20. His vague platform includes cutting domestic spending, using a pickup truck while wearing a barn coat. A week later, the White House is going to use the State of the Union to propose cutting domestic spending for three years. It's nice to see the president is finally responding quickly and decisively. Too bad it's not to the needs and desires of his own party, nor more importantly, the majority of the American people.